Hey guys, uh, part three hopefully of the lathe brake project. I'm going to keep this simple. Here's um, a cable kit which hopefully will do the trick for the link between operation uh, and operating lever like this uh, brake lever thing and get down to the caliper unit. So what I'm going to do, again it's a case of simple, what have I got? Found this uh, odd little piece of inch tube. So anyway we've taken a slice off that and uh, finished up with this little piece. Turned that down to take this uh, brake lever here. In fact it's going to go in the back like that and then here's a piece of my favorite old two by two by quarter angle I cut a piece off another off cut that I had this is going to go on the lathe headstock cover uh, there's a hole there and I'll show you at some point you'll see it later when I get to fit it up I'm going to use uh, a bolt mounting that I already had on there which is convenient and then we'll drill this we'll drill this side get this out to one inch okay so we got um, this one inch section of the tube which will go through the upstanding part of the angle and at the back end we'll just tack weld it <laughs> I think I can manage a tack weld um, and then the uh, lever will be just sitting up suitable to put the hand on and operate I'm hoping that'll work shouldn't take too long I hope famous last words slight change of plan which often happens uh, there's the uh, angle I've drilled it out but that's only seven eighths and my my uh, inch drill somehow or other got a chunk out of one corner it's going to have to be reground and I'm too lazy to do it right now so what I'm going to do is turn this the other end of this little piece of tube down try and finish up about a thou about a thou bigger than that hole and if it works out I can uh, make it a press fit not even bother to weld it if it's not tight enough I'll weld it <laughs> it's as simple as that see what we've got for that and uh, hardly ever critical in terms of what you might call precision engineering but anyway I'll just see what I've got try and finish up where I want to Yep. So well, I've got a one seven left. So we'll uh one seven so I'll take eight. Let's see where we finish up. about 884 or something like that 
that's a pretty much on the money by the look of it. Let's just see now. I deburred that. I'm only looking for about a thou oversized, but I think that might be slightly too much. Well, in theory, I am actually about a thou or thereabouts shy of that hole, so I'm going to see if just put a slight lead chamfer on this. Uh, Piece to see if I can get her to press in. I shouldn't need very much. Let's see if the arbor press will do the trick. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. Right, well I got that pressed in. Um, it wasn't quite as tight as I wanted. So I just put two little weld beads on the edge, opposite sides. It's not going to go anywhere. And there's very little stress on it. So all we've got to do now is drill a hole in this base section and choose the best position. It may not be quite on centre because I've got to uh, uh, ideally centre but in fact there may be a slight shift because of things that may be in the way. So we'll get on with that and uh, hopefully get closer to getting the cable sorted out. I didn't want to bore you with drilling the hole in here it has to be fairly well back to clear this. But um, this is the basic arrangement. So I can switch off, switch off from the switch down here and then just go straight or use both hands. So now we've got to run the cable out the uh, nipple here and just go in a loop round the back to the caliper which I'll hope to do later or very soon when I find time. <laughs> Get that done and working and we will be actually there, which would be a miracle. Last lap folks. We got this set up. Uh, there's only one bolt but it's got a spring washer. It's all plenty rigid. Cables in place. And then if we move down to the bottom, then at the bottom here we've got the uh, cable operation. Have to get used to the feel of this uh, brake lever. It's a little bit strong. Have to temper the effort that's put in. So now just to run it up, check it a time or two. Have to get a um, particular hold on this lever to avoid making it too strong. Bit abrupt, got to keep practicing. Bit abrupt. That's getting better. There's a certain feel so that it's not uh, too sharp a stop. Anyway, there it is. End of project. Apart from any small tweaks that I'll do at a later time, but but we've got uh, proof of concept. And I don't think I want the lever anywhere else. It's convenient. As I think I said earlier, it was a bolt in a hole that was there from some past operation and uh, it's useful. So if you stuck with me till the end of this 
part three. Good for you. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this little challenge. I don't know what the next project's going to be, but I expect something will come up. In the meantime, thanks for watching.